trouble in paradise. It happens to the best of us, and the royals too. So what's the real story behind these uneasy moments? All couples fight, even when they're royal. Take Queen Elizabeth II and Prince Philip, for example. Legend has it that a film crew once captured an argument between the couple on video in 1954, and while the footage does not exist today, the argument was significant enough to be recreated on The Crown decades later. I'm sorry, that little interlude. Yes, long before TMZ was ambushing celebrities at baggage claim, the late monarch and her husband were caught on camera doing something they preferred the world not see. The royal quarrel took place while the pair was on vacation. The documentary crew happened to be nearby when the Queen was said to have lost her cool. In the book, Prince Philip Revealed, author and royal expert Ingrid Seward recounts the moment. She writes, their tempers were very frayed. This film crew was standing outside their little holiday villa. The next thing they knew, Prince Philip appeared on the balcony, followed by a tennis racket and a pair of tennis shoes thrown at his head. The Queen came out and shouted at him to come back. She then grabbed Philip and dragged him back inside. A member of the Royals team asked for the footage to be handed over. The Queen was apparently quite appreciative of the film crew's cooperation. In 1967, Queen Elizabeth and Prince Philip attended a royal ball in Malta. During the couple's dance at the event, there was a notable gap between the pair compared to the other couples around them, and they didn't seem to hold much eye contact with one another. Looking at the photographs of the event, body language expert Blanca Cobb picked up on a curious vibe between the two royals. She told Cosmopolitan, They're totally disengaged. I get the impression something's off. It's like she's using him as a hand rest. It's not intimate at all. That said, Cobb did go on to note that fleeting moments like this one should not totally colour our perception of what their relationship was truly like. She added, You can't assume they act this way at home. There's no way to extrapolate public behaviour to private lives when we're talking about royals. In May 2003, Queen Elizabeth and Prince Philip were photographed getting out of their car together. In one candid photo, it looks like Philip extended out to the Queen as she emerged from the vehicle. However, you could argue that it looks like the Queen ignored her husband's gesture. What's more, Queen Elizabeth did not make any sort of eye contact with Philip. Her body was angled away from her longtime spouse. Another interesting detail? She apparently decided to use the door handle to brace herself as she stepped out of the car when, again, her husband's hand was right there. So, what was the deal? It's entirely possible that they may have gotten into some sort of spat prior to the event and were still feeling irate. Oh, really? Please. Boom. However, Blanca Cobb seems to give the couple the benefit of the doubt. As she explained to Cosmopolitan, this could have been a mere miscommunication. She said, She's very independent. They both could be distracted by their fans. Or perhaps she doesn't want his help, since people in a position of power usually don't want to show signs of weakness. Prince Charles and Princess Diana didn't look all that comfortable when they shared the news of their engagement with the public. In February 1981, the former couple announced that they were set to wed. Per royal tradition, a photo call was held. While we've seen other royals look quite blissed out in their engagement announcement photos, Charles and Diana's pics were another story. The word strained comes to mind. Overall, the future exes appeared to be on totally different pages. As body language expert Tracy Brown told Today, Charles is looking down and through the tops of his eyes. Diana's not reaching for him. She's not 100% comfortable with being in the limelight because her one arm is straight and the other arm is crossed. She's protecting. It's not an elegant look. We would never see this from her in her later years. This is all new to her. It's brand new. Royalty or not, engagement photos are an opportunity for a newly engaged couple to have a little fun and bask in the excitement surrounding their imminent wedding. When Prince Harry and Meghan Markle took their official engagement photographs, for example, they clearly kept this in mind. As Brown told Good Housekeeping, The great thing about these pictures in particular is that they're consistent with what we have seen previously. They're always tangled up with one another and being openly romantic. Right after they posed for their engagement photos, Charles and Diana sat down with ITN to share the story of their engagement, as well as their hopes for their upcoming marriage. Things got off to a rather awkward start when the interviewer noted that they must be in love, to which Charles replied, Whatever in love means. <laughs> Diana laughed off the moment and did her best to play it cool. But as we all know now, this moment was a brief glimpse of the major drama to come. As body language expert Darren Stanton told Coffee Friend, It's clear that by her reaction, she believed back then that she had concerns and even doubts about their relationship. Nicole Moore, another body language expert, told The List that the late princess's physicality also suggested she regretted her own answer straight away. She said, She knew the couple was not in love and was almost sucking the lie back in after she said it. 
Diana later confirmed that she had indeed been upset by Charles's flippant remark. She once told her biographer Andrew Morton, I thought, what a strange answer, it traumatised me. In 1983, Charles and Diana embarked on their very first official tour as a royal couple. The former pair spent six weeks in Australia and New Zealand and, naturally, photographers snapped as many shots of the two as they could. Diana's tour style got a lot of attention on the trip, as did the pair's body language. In a number of the photos, Diana and Charles looked anything but lovey-dovey. Time and time again, they appeared to keep at least a few feet between them as they walked together. Body language expert Patty Wood recently told Today, These two people are not connected to each other. He's down and facing away. She's walking on sand and he's not assisting her or waiting for her, which tells me he's not comforting. When the future exes did stand next to one another, there was a noticeable rigidness. At this point, the two had been married for only a couple years, but it sure seemed the honeymoon period was long gone, assuming it was ever there in the first place. In 1983, Princess Anne and her husband, Captain Mark Phillips, sat down with Michael Parkinson for an interview. At one point, Parkinson got right to it and asked about rumours of divorce, a question that didn't go down all that well. Are they true or untrue? <laughs> There had indeed been many rumours that the pair's marriage wasn't going well, and as they listened to the question, Anne and Philip both looked at the ground and fidgeted. In an effort to create a sense of levity, the princess looked at Philip's and deadpanned, What are we doing here? <laughs> princess Anne then assured everyone that the rumours were merely gossip. When it was Philip's turn, he kept his eyes on Anne as he answered, almost as if he was seeking her reassurance. Body expert Judy James told The Express, When she does look up at her husband, her expression looks scathing. Mark struggles to speak, squeaking and laughing nervously. Anne even performs a tongue poke of rejection or dislike as she watches him. As you might well have predicted, the marriage didn't last. Anne and Phillips divorced in 1992, nearly 10 years later. Though she wasn't born into the royal family, Catherine, Princess of Wales, is already an expert at maintaining her royal composure. As Judy James put it, she is an accomplished masker. However, that mask seemed to slip at the Queen's birthday garden party in July 2017. A few of the photos taken that day suggested things weren't so pretty behind the scenes. While we cannot say for certain, of course, Catherine seemed to be unhappy about something, even shooting a few dirty looks at Prince William. The pictures in question grabbed James's attention. She told The Express, There are several photos of the occasion that show her looking unhappy or even throwing William some pointed looks while he tried to remain neutral, with a faint, polite, closed lip smile of what looks like regret or awkwardness. Kate's eyes looked tired, with dark smudges underneath them, and at one point she appeared to be looking down while biting the inside of her mouth, as though holding back her emotions. Much has been made of Harry and Meghan's body language over the years, especially considering the couple's knack for courting royal controversy. So, it should come as no surprise to find that royal watchers took out their magnifying glasses when the two ended up on the Crypto.com Arena Kiss Cam in 2023. When their faces appeared on the Jumbotron, Meghan laughed and nudged Harry away jokingly. Interestingly, Harry seemed willing to go in for the kiss, whereas Meghan hit the brakes. On an episode of Sunrise, body language expert Dr. Louise Mahler described this technique as a means of misdirection and laughter to avoid the situation. You can jam the elbow just for a split second, look away <laughs> and laugh. And it's a way of misdirection. Dr. Mahler also compared this moment to Meghan and Harry's body language from the beginning of their relationship. In almost all of the photos, Harry's leaning in and Meghan is just upright or slightly leaning away. Dr. Marla went on to suggest that Harry and Meghan may not be on the same page as far as their relationship is concerned. 